today we are going to talk about wowing your leader with your lead. And we know how important a good lead is because it's the beginning of your story and you want it to interest your reader right away. Today we're going to look at two other types of leads that you can use in a fiction story. These are many types of leads that you've probably seen already. The two we're going to look at today are internal thought and action. An internal thought lead shows what the character is thinking at a particular moment. And it introduces the character through this thinking. So we get to know your character as you're showing us their thinking. This can be a flashback or it can be happening right at the present time of your story, or it can show your reader, I mean, it can show your character thinking about something that's going to happen. So if your character is someone who worries, that might be a good way to show that your character is worrying about something in the future. And the thoughts of your character should be purposeful. So these thoughts should either be telling us about an event that happened that the reader needs to know, or the thoughts should be telling us about who your character is. So we're gonna take a look at my ideas for my story, and I'm gonna show you what an internal thought introduction could look like based on the story I'm writing. This is my brainstorm so far. I'm working on themes that are kind of like this, that have to do with being yourself and being able to make friends um, without having to change who you are, that your true friends are gonna like you no matter what. And the character I've created based on that is a girl named Charlie. She's really good at sports and she wants to make more friends, but she keeps finding that they just don't share the same interests as her. They like other things where she's so into sports. And I also am including another really important character, her older brother, Tony, and they get along really well. And this person I'm thinking might be in my lead. So I wanted to include that in my brainstorm. Now let me show you a list I made for an internal thought lead. So I need some information about Charlie and what I would include in her, her internal thoughts. And this is what you would do before you create your lead. So I said that Charlie is upset. So I'm going to show a flashback. And I want to show how I was saying how she wants more friends, but they don't have the same interest. So I'm going to talk about how girls were talking and she felt left out. And she doesn't like the same things as these girls, which is what was making her feel left out. And I need to show that she wants more friends. So somehow I want to show that she's upset and show the reasoning why. And I'm gonna do that through her thoughts. So now I'm gonna show you the lead that I came up with, with Charlie's inter internal thoughts. And I want you to think about how am I showing what she is like? How am I showing she's upset? And how am I making these thoughts purposeful for the story? So you can pause the video and read through my internal thought lead and maybe jot down some of the words or phrases I used that you think show the reader what's going on with my character. All right, so hopefully you noticed some details I tried to include to show that Charlie is walking in the door and she's upset. And I included the she threw her backpack because I think that action is going to set up the reader to show what what she's feeling and what she's thinking about. I use phrases like she couldn't stop thinking about and she had no idea why this bothered her. So I wanted to use the idea of bothering her because it is, it's what she's thinking about still even after she came home. I'm saying how she didn't want to hang out with them. And then I talked about what they were saying manicures and shopping and dance classes and Charlie doesn't like those things. So it says none of that interests her. So in this way, I'm using a few details to show you what Charlie's like through her thinking. 
Let's look at another way that we could do a different lead. That's the action lead. An action lead shows who your character is through something he or she does. You're always going to use some sort of action words and you can describe a scene with these action words. So I'm going to think back to who my character is, which is Charlie. She loves sports. She gets along with her brother. She's very athletic. And I'm gonna include all of those things in my action lead. So here are some of the notes I took. And again, if you're gonna write an action lead, you're also going to take notes on things that you know you wanna include. So I said, Charlie is good at sports. She always plays sports. Tony is her brother and she has a good relationship with Tony. So as I was planning this, I'm thinking of a scene where maybe she's doing something with Tony involving sports. And I also wanna show that they have a good relationship so that's where I'm gonna use some dialogue to show that they're friends. They're not just brother and sister, but they're also friends. So again, pause the video, read through my action lead, and maybe jot down some things that either show you she is good at sports or show you she has a good relationship with her brother. So as you can tell, I set a scene where Charlie and Tony are playing baseball or playing catch and batting in the backyard together. And I wanted to show that Charlie's really good at this. So I said the familiar crack, because by saying familiar crack, it means it happens a lot. And I also said it flew over the fence again. So in those two ways, I try to show that this happens all the time because Charlie is so good. She had been practicing, it paid off. And you can tell about her brother, I wanted to show that he's not doing it, he's not going easy on her. He is maybe good at baseball too, and so he's trying to treat her fairly by throwing her the ball as he would in his own game. Um, here, I said giving her a smirk to let Charlie know he wasn't actually mad. Again, that's showing a good relationship. And here, I feel like they're joking with each other. So it shows that they're getting along. And as you can see, my two leads for the same story are completely different. In this scene, Charlie's happy, but she's happy because she's doing something she loves. In this lead, she's not happy because she's thinking about the problem that's going on. And it's really interesting to think that you can write a lead that shows one a character one way, and then you can show the same character in a completely different way in a different lead. So why don't you go back, maybe try one, or maybe try both of these leads, and see which one you feel is the stronger one for your story. Enjoy.